gauges to use. When measuring a single sheet of glass, place the Merlin laser flat against the surface. Press the red button and hold it down, viewing the calibrated scale at approximately 45 degrees. You will now note that two bright red laser lines are visible. Check that the first laser line is aligned with the zero line on the scale. To measure the thickness, simply note the position of the second laser line on the lower scale, which in this case shows the glass to be 10 mm thick. One of the most common uses for the Merlin laser gauge is to determine the makeup of double glazed sealed units. When measuring multi-pane units, ensure that the right hand side of the tool is placed into the bottom right or top right corner of the unit in order to obtain a true reading of the air gap, as air gap thicknesses may deviate towards the centre of the unit. As before, activate the laser and move your head so that the lines become clearly visible. The first part of the measurement process is to measure the thickness of the first piece of glass that the tool is in contact with. Simply check that the first laser line is aligned at zero, then using the lower scale calibrated for glass thickness, simply measure the distance between the first and second lines, shown here to be 4mm. Next, use the raised logo button to slide the scale zero line to the left to align with the second line. We are now ready to calculate the air gap thickness on the upper scale by simply measuring the distance between the second and third line as shown here as 14 millimeters. Finally, to determine the thickness of the rear pane of glass, slide the scale to the left again, aligning the zero this time with the third line and measure the distance to the fourth line on the lower glass thickness scale, which is six millimeters. In three simple steps, we have shown the makeup of this unit to be a piece of 4mm glass with a 14mm airspace and a second piece of 6mm glass, given an overall thickness of 24mm.